Hi guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my second channel. Today we are going to the store and buying Selena Gomez's Rare Beauty line of makeup because we're supporting Selena all the way and I've never tried her makeup line. So I'm excited, we're gonna get whatever they have. Um, I called and asked if they had stuff in available and the lady kind of laughed a little bit. So I'm guessing lots of people have been calling and buying her stuff. So that's wonderful. But we're gonna go see what they have and if they have a lot, then we're buying it all. But I'm not really wearing too much makeup besides mascara. So whatever I do find, I can try out the makeup at the end of this video. Okay, I just got out of Sephora. That was fun. Supporting my girl Selena. I just spent $400. <laughs> but I got some stuff I needed also. So let's do a little haul. Um, her stuff was reasonably priced. Um, the stuff that was the most expensive was all basically not her stuff. <laughs> so I needed a new setting spray, which this stuff lasts me a long time. I love this Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray. I'm about out of mine, so I got a new one. Also, I don't know if you guys could tell, I put some foundation on that side of my face. Yeah, you could definitely tell. Ooh, I hope it matches. I think it does. It was the only color left, and I felt like it matched really good. Okay, so besides her makeup, I also got a blush because I'm all out of blush. And that's the shade Deep Throat. <laughs> Shades are so funny. I've never had that one. I've had Luster and Orgasm, but this one looks really pretty. So I wanted to try that out. And then when I was in checkout, I thought this eyeshadow looked so pretty. Natasha Denona. I don't know who this is, but I loved the size of it. And it has like all these colors that I use basically. So I thought it was really cute, especially that's good for traveling. But I thought the colors are pretty. And then I also wanted to try out this Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. It's a little sample size. But those were definitely the most expensive products. All right, now moving on to all the stuff I got. I'll show you guys what it looked like in there. It was right in the front. She was literally in the front of Sephora. And lots of it was sold out. But I picked out basically one or two of everything besides the cream blushes were sold out okay so i got a soft pinch matte liquid blush in the shade bliss which looks like this it looks like such a pretty color so we got that and then i got a matte lip liner in the color creative so i believe this is kind of just like a like a a nudie lip color and then I got her setting powder in the shade light medium I got a kind words matte lipstick worthy oh that's so cute wait I'm just not realizing that they were all like kind words to yourself see this is why we love her and then this one is with gratitude dewy lip balm thankful so those two shades I got in that and then this is a brightening concealer and then we got a matte lip cream in kindness and a matte lip cream in confident cute these these looked really nice I'm excited to try those and then I got a glossy lip balm in nearly neutral um, this is a light liquid luminizer a pore diffusing primer which we will really see how this works on my face because I have huge pores really big pores and then this is a oh yes a brow shape fill duo I don't really ever do my brows but I've been wanting to do them like more straight like what's trending right now I don't know if I'd have to like shave off a little bit of the end so I could draw them straighter probably but I got this in the shade taupe but she doesn't have her products at all tap so this Sephora was in Kohl's, so it was a smaller Sephora, but they had pretty much all their stuff. And then I got a tinted moisturizer. This is what I tried out on my skin. She also had a fuller coverage foundation, but I feel like now that it's almost summer, I know I keep saying that. But I got a tinted moisturizer, and it has SPF 20 sunscreen in it. I got 32 neutral. So I'm excited to use this because I've been trying to take better care of my skin. I've been doing a whole nighttime and morning routine, skin routine. And I should start wearing SPF too when I'm outside because I love being out in the sun So I need to start using SPF. So if it's in a like a tinted moisturizer, that is lovely So to give you guys an idea of her prices the primer was 15 the setting powder was 25 
liquid lip gloss 20 powder 27 the setting powder was a little more highlighter 25 the liner was 15 the concealer was 22 the tinted moisturizer was 30 um, so yeah, it all ranged from 15 to 30 about. Please give this video a thumbs up if you support Selena too. Okay, we are back at home and let's do a full face with all of this new makeup and see how we like it. Okay, so we're going to start off with this diffusing pore primer. Cute little bottle. Okay, it's a lot smaller than I expected it to be. But let's see. We'll put this everywhere. Oh, and I also took off the little bit of makeup I put on in the store. Okay, so now that we got that, we are going to do the liquid luminizer. No, no, that's highlight. The tinted moisturizer. We're going to put this all over our face with a beauty blender. Like, look, the last shade left. That is like perfectly my color. How perfect did that work out? <laughs> Maybe let me turn the lights down a little bit so you guys can see better. I do like that primer. Everything is like gliding on. I like that. This tinted, I've never really used a tinted moisturizer before. It just feels very light and not, it looks like almost there's no makeup on my face. Okay, now let's try out this concealer. This is in the color 240W. So let's see how this looks with the foundation on. I like tried to put it on in the store and it looked good to me. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Like does this, do these two go together? I feel like you only need like a little bit of concealer anyways. Oh yeah, I think that looks good. Oh yeah, that matches good. Put some up above. Do you guys think we put on the liquid blush before the setting powder for some reason I feel like we would so it like blends in nicely with the foundation and everything I've never used a liquid blush before should I get it on my beauty blender Ooh! oh that's pretty I'm gonna do a couple more dots I really like this color this is the color bliss well do you want you look in the bottom of my shoe ew doesn't that look good? Like natural, makes my face look glowy. Okay, then let's try this liquid illuminator. Ooh. I just dirtied up that whole lid with my dirty fingers. I've never used a liquid highlighter either. Whoa. Wow. Okay, maybe only like one dot, small dot, and then like one big dot over there. Look at that. Holy cow. That is gorgeous. Okay, pretty. And now let's try the setting powder, which I usually don't use setting powder. I usually just use like regular powder, which she did not have, at least that I saw that was available. Oh, that's cute. So it twists. So then it opens up because usually it just spills all over the place, you know? I never know how to use this stuff though. Like, do you put it in the lid? Oh, that looks like the perfect color. Okay, let's see. That looks good. That is like, oh, I'm breathing in the powder. That's like my perfect color. Okay, now that the base makeup is on, let's do our eyebrows, which I also am not the best at. Like, I do pretty simple makeup, but I wanted to try this. Like, look how cute this little palette is for the eyebrows, and it, like, flips up like this. Isn't that cute? So, I'm going to use, like, a little angled brush like this, and I guess just, like, Color it in. Let's see what it looks like on my hand. Yeah, I like that because it's not like too dark. And then there's also this color. And I think you can also wet this. But when it's like a lighter powder like this, instead of it being like that dewy consistency brow 
brow stuff like it's so easy to mess that up because it's so dark but since this is like light it kind of gives you more like leeway to mess around how's my eyebrow look does it look the same or does it look better I think it looks good I want to do them like straight but I just don't know how to do that I think I'd have to shave off my eyebrow like the end which I don't know if I want to do that Next, we have a bunch of lippies to mess around with. So, should we do a matte lipstick? Or let's try a few, because I have my makeup wipe. So first, let's maybe try out this dewy lip balm. So this is a darker shade. This is like all that they had left. Oh, that's cute. I thought it was going to be so much darker. So that is the shade. I'm going to take it off. Now let's try out this lip liner. Does it twist? It does twist, we love that. Wow, this is like, it like really matches my lips. Okay, cute. So now that we did lip liner, we could do the matte lipstick or the gloss, let's do the matte lipstick and then also we could do the glossy lip balm on top. We'll try it out like that. And there's also a lip cream. Shoot, we might just have to try them all. Let's try on this matte one first. I feel like this color of this box is really cute. So this is worthy. Ooh. Okay. I really like this one. Ah, fancy. <laughs> oh, and then I also want to try out this mascara and eyeshadow palette. Should we open that and put that on too? So then we can get like a full effect with the lip lip on. Put on a little bit more makeup. Like look how pretty that is. Put some sparkly gold on the lid. And then let's put on some of this mascara. I know I already have mascara on, but that's okay. And my bottom eyelash is long. I usually don't buy mascaras from like Sephora because I love my Maybelline waterproof mascaras for $10, like I love them. And I feel like I don't really notice a difference when I use like high-end brand mascaras, plus they're usually not waterproof. Okay, now let's try on this matte lip cream in Confident. I feel like I'm really gonna like this color. Oh yeah, that's pretty. This might be my favorite lippy so far. Okay, yeah, I really like this matte lip cream. So, did I get another one of that? Oh yeah, I did. I also got this matte lip cream in Kindness. Let's see this shade. Okay, this is also really pretty. Which I think on my skin tone and my face, I like more of like the pinky shades rather than like the brownie orange shades. But I guess it depends on your makeup and your outfit. But I love the feel of this one. That one's my favorite. And then we just have the gloss to try. The Glossy Lip Balm in Nearly Neutral. Ooh. So I don't know if this is going to really like match on top, but it's a gloss, so I feel like it will. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I like this brush. It's like really bendy. Like the tip is very flexible. <laughs> okay. I like. What do we think? So far, I really like it all, and I'm going to be wearing it from now on because I did need to like get new makeup. I've been using the same stuff for a while, and then I just like my favorite setting spray. But we'll see how it holds up on my skin because I do have oily skin, but I also was kind of like rushing and putting it on for the video since I was like looking at the camera, looking at the mirror, but it looks good. It looks really good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're Team Selena. Let me know down below if you've tried any of our products and which one's your favorite. Or if you'd like to try one out, which one do you want to try out? But thank you all so much for watching today's video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.